Yeah, we're talking football now on the Sports Max Zone, the 2024 edition of the Ali Cole Cup, a schoolboy football preseason tournament named in honor of the 1982 Excelsior Manning Cup winning captain Alan Cole Jr., who died suddenly in 2017. Well, that's set to kick off on Thursday. The tournament, which will run from the 15th to the 17th, will be staged at Excelsior High School and will feature 20 teams from across the island, 10 from the rural area, the Costa Cup, and 10 from urban area Manning Cup schools. With us to share information about what promises to be a fascinating three days of football is president of the Ali Cup organization, Chris Bailey, and CEO, Carlton Hammond. Carlton, you're closest to me. Let me start with you. We're on the eve of the tournament. <laughs> um, how are things going preparation-wise, and how excited are you about this year's renewal? Well, first and foremost, good evening, Lance. Today, very excited. Um, this year is one of the most exciting years for tournament. Everybody is involved from there, the major part. And also, we're getting a lot of support. Yeah. Here, you know what I'm saying? It just continue coming, and okay. it's a process. Yeah, all right. Um, your mic needs to be upgraded, but... Chris can, can pick this up now, Chris, because for successive years, we've had you on the zone previewing what fans can expect from the tournament in, in the coming days. And I suspect that um, every year you have suggested that the tournament gets better and better and gets more and more support. Is that upward trajectory still in evidence this year? Uh, first and foremost, good afternoon to each and everyone. Um, this year, it's very exciting to see what's going on because... We have a lot of sponsors this year <laughs> compared to last year. So yes. that to show you the trend that we are going in, to see that sponsors can come on from the previous years that we were here to know where we're at. <sighs> very, very satisfying. Very, very So satisfying. how much work did you have to do to ensure that that happened? So we put us endless work, night, days, night, days, late nights. Because, for example, I'm up from 6 o'clock in the morning now, Mr. Amman on the phone, talking, getting things together, calling Jamaica, hey, what is going on? And to see the benefit of it, words can't even express what we're feeling right now. We're just excited to see what's going on this year with all, everyone that comes on board. Yeah, and to be clear, both of you are based overseas. Yes. So organizing this competition remotely um, isn't that easy. It takes some extra work. Yes, it does, because I can tell you, we be on the phone like 24 7. Sometimes I feel like he's, he's my wife or my girlfriend. <laughs> That's the, the, the energy that we share amongst each other. I, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Early morning, late night, me and Mr. Amman be on the phone talking about this Ali Cup season, what we have to do to get it right. So that's the relationship that we share. So just to show you the level of, um, I'm trying to find the proper word, just to show you the level of. Togetherness. Yes. Togetherness, our bond that we share. Yeah. I know this gentleman, for example, from, I was like 14, 15. That's the amount of years yeah. we've been together. And how old are you now? I'm 51, and I'm proud to say I'm a 51-year-old man. Yes, yes. I have grown <laughs> over the years, you know? And to see the, the benefit yes. starting to reap from what we've been doing, tireless nights, yes. flying back and forth, <sighs> sleepless nights, yes. only God. Yeah, you know, Carlton, I don't need to ask you any questions. I'd, I'll just say respond. <laughs> the president speaking. Yeah. <laughs> the president speaking. But really and truly, it's a lot of work. Yeah. And to really do this, you have to commit it to do it. And it's a lot of community. First, we have to thank Mr. Hillary and our family, mm -hmm. our wife and our kids. It's very important yeah. to really do this. So really and truly, what he's saying with me and in relationship, coming from far. Yeah. Everybody that's surrounded by this organization and a part of the Green and Yellow. Yeah. It's a long, we're, we're 40 years and more. Yeah. So it's really the energy and it's all about family bonding. Yeah. So really and truly, for the last week, he's on cloud nine. He's ready to go. He's <laughs> fired up and ready to go. I'm just, just going with him. Yeah. And, and Chris, talk to us about, I mean, so there are those who would want to come out and watch some football, some preseason schoolboy football in Jamaica. Um, tell us some of the teams that we can expect to see over the next three days. Okay, good question. Excelsior High School. <laughs> <laughs> Goes without saying. Goes without saying. You know, there's, well, we won when I played in 1989, and I can simply say Excelsior is a great school. So that's one. I know you're going to see Dintilai yeah. from over in Bogwalk. Yeah. Camperdown. 
Danun, Denby, and the list goes on. Alfonso Davis is a new school. Yeah. Ascot, there's so many. Um, Titchfield, Glenmuir. Yeah. <sighs> top team out of the top Lacoste teams Cup. Top teams out of the Lacoste Manning Cup teams. Yeah. And, sure. and Dintil Technical Manning's, as well. Yeah. Uh, this just continues, and as I say, as we grow, I know there will be a lot more school be involved. Yeah, and, and what's the format going to be like? Because if I remember correctly, you don't play full 90 minute games, do you? No, we play straight 20 minutes games. Yeah. So we run the, the tournament just as well, the Alva Shield run, the Manning Cup mm -hmm. and the Dakar Cup. So the winning team of the Manning Cup and the winning team of the Dakar Cup will play for the Ali Cup. Ah, yeah. So number, so we're going to be four, four games for mm -hmm. every team. Yeah. They expect to play four games. Number one play number two. Number two play number yeah. one. Crisscross. And are they and full 90 minute games? No. Straight yeah. 20 minutes. Okay. Straight yeah. 20 minutes. No half time. No half time. It's in the clutch football. Yeah. So it's real pre season. It's like background work. It's over distance track that's and why field I just type said stuff. It's a, a schoolboy yeah. pre season football tournament. Yeah. It's not a corner league. It's the biggest cup, and it's the Ali Cup, and it's not a Fali Cup. No Fali Cup. <laughs> you guys laugh. <laughs> no, it is sounding good. It is sounding good. Um, and, and talk to me about, so, in terms of the type of interest you get from the teams, do you find yourselves yet having to start turning teams back? Hey, you know what? That's a great question. First, I want to say enough respect to former national captain, Anthony Corbett. Mm -hmm. Because he's... Balance. <laughs> yeah, man. Go ahead, man. Great leadership. He, when we start this 2018, the first thing he said, every football team have to have a bench. Mm. So we, we, we reach out to 30, 30 school, right? Yes. 15 on the Money Cup, 15 on the Dakar Star Cup. And school were in, and the ski world school were um, because of the hurricane, school mm. were dropping out, and because of transportation. So the bench was just coming in, coming in. Since we got in the country, a couple of days now, Two schools already dropped out. Yes. And but as Titfield just come in. Yeah. So it's, it's good. Yeah. So people are out there want to get involved, but it's a process and we have a bench. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like I always said, it's family first. Yeah. And quickly, explain the idea behind the format of the tournament itself, playing right. 20 minutes as opposed to um, longer. What, what's the thinking behind all of that? Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a three-day tournament. You have 20 schools, you have no lights. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody has to be a part of it. Yeah. So it's football in the clutch. The team will, will be rotating. Yeah. You will have a break where they get lunch because we, we, we feed all 20 schools. We wow. provide meals for all 20 schools and free of cost. Free of cost. No, that's a part of the organization. That's a part of oh, we've been running the tournament from yeah. the tournament start. Yeah. It's all about family. It's a family fun day. Yeah. Calabar is invited. <laughs> why, why did you tell Ricardo that? I I, have, I they don't accept, have they accepted the invitation? Lance, that's a good question. Because of <laughs> our Calabar and KC structure, they have the Wagga Hunt tournament. Yes. And we did reach out to them. Yes. And um, yeah, the yeah. Wagga Hunt tournament happens this weekend. We are, so I like there's that. a yes. conflict. No, yes. no. Well, so listen, have you excused them? No. Well, listen, it's no conflict when you're talking about Ali Cup, the greatest <laughs> schoolboy preseason <laughs> tournament. So one day, one day, I guarantee this. I'm sitting right here. KC, Meadowbrook, and all of those schools like Calabar. the Wagga Cup and Calabar will be in the Ali Cup. Yes. I, I think it's just a matter of working out the, the, the schedule. And, and I'm sure there's going to be a year when everyone will be part of the Ali Cup. Listen, um, I was at the compound and many people said to me, Ali Cup becomes one of the biggest preseason schoolboy football because everybody right now want to get inside of Ali Cup. Yeah. And I want to say thanks to Mr. Ellery to organize this and structure this. He's one of my advisors for yeah. the organization. He will be here one day. Yeah. Just everything is just a time and process. We look forward to it. Lance, sounds yeah. about break time. Yeah, I think it's, it's break time. All the best to the Alley Cup starts on Thursday at Excelsior High School. And it's going to be hot, I can tell you. And the teams will be shaping up for the schoolboy season, which Sportsmax invests very heavily in. Thanks, gentlemen, for being here. Thank you and for having us. And we look forward to the tournament again. Back with more on The Zone after this.